All right. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Um, so uh, my, my talk is Weather Watch, and uh, uh, you've, you've got a great introduction on, on some of my background. Uh, I've been using cloud-based technologies uh, long before there was, uh, uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, clouds to speak of. Uh, uh, so, so a lot of the things that I'm doing uh, today in, in, in brokerage has to do with really adopting technology. But I'm going to go through a, a few, few trends here. I'll show you a few screenshots of some things that I think you'll, you'll find unique. I'll show you a nice uh, video of some things that are right now present, uh, emerging technology, and uh, hopefully you'll go, go home with uh, some, some new, uh, new ideas here. Uh, I'd like to say, first of all, that I really truly believe that we take the cloud for granted. Um, nowadays, we have on our phones a phone app. So for all intents and purposes, the phone is, in fact, a cloud-based app. In fact, uh, whether it be phone or text messaging, checking in on Wi-Fi, um, all, all the things that you do, uh, it, there's so many things that are cloud-based. Um, and uh, some of the services that you'll recognize and some of them that you use uh, are here on the screen. I'm sure almost every brokerage in the room here uh, uses at least some form of, of, of this technology. Um, however, a couple that I, I find uh, pretty interesting and unique, uh, we were uh, fortunately a beta customer with, uh, 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 with uh, Voxer. And, and Voxer is an app that for all intents and purposes has replaced the phone inside of our organization for the communication that goes between broker agents and staff. So if you haven't checked out that app, it's definitely worth, worth checking out. Trello is also another application that I would highly recommend checking out because it allows you to collaborate, and that's a big theme, collaboration. The cloud really increases collaboration. It allows you to collaborate on tasks among your team members. Um, I wanted to, to look at one industry before we jumped into some technologies, but the music industry has really shifted uh, since the LP. I mean, if you remember the LP, then you go to the CD, then there was the conversion to MP3, and then once everything got into MP3, there was Napster that uh, back in 1998, 99, I can't tell you how many tens of thousands of songs I downloaded and I bought hard drives so I could download all this music before Napster went away. And, and then, Apple sort of picked up the ball and created the iTunes store, and then that created the, I, the, the iPod, which eventually turned into the iPhone, and now we have the iPad with all this music. But since then, it's even morphed even further, and, and through services like Pandora, and my favorite app is Spotify, um, which allows you to really collaborate around 20 million commercially available songs with your friends, see what they're listening to, set up playlists. You're able to do the sharing that we used to do when we went to people's homes and we put music onto cassette tapes. Uh, we're now able to do it on the cloud. In fact, I'm able to, to listen to my, any music that anybody's playlist in my car because it's Bluetooth connected to my stereo. And, and I'm able to do that in real time. And so the music industry has really made this tremendous shift and, this, and, and the real estate brokerage, I think, is, is going through a similar shift. The dr dr dramatic changes that we've seen there are the dramatic changes that are taking place right now in real estate and, and we'll see going forward. This is uh, uh, Monday this week, April 15th. Um, uh, Google announced their first shipments of Google Glass. And for those of you who are not aware of what Google Glass is, it allows you to have a device, glasses, on your head where you can actually participate and share what you're doing with anybody else in real time over the cloud. And, and this, is, this has tremendous implications for the real estate industry. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a video first and then I'll talk about what I see as some of the implications of what this might mean. Okay, Glass, record a video. This is it, we're on in two minutes. Okay, Glass, hang out with the Flying Club. Google photos of tiger heads. Hmm. You ready? You ready? Right there. Okay, Glass, take a picture. Oh, my God. 
Stay delicious and Thai. Aroi. Mmm, Aroi. Google jellyfish. So if you haven't seen that video yet, and hopefully some of you have not, we are about to experience this uh, here in the next weeks and months uh, as these start to arrive onto shelves and uh, in, into developers' hands first and then, and, then, and then eventually consumers' hands. But what this means for the real estate industry could be pretty interesting. If you think about a buyer's agent, you're meeting uh, a consumer uh, off of your website, your company's website, uh, somebody comes in off uh, a Zillow, truly a realtor.com, um, and, and you're, you're working with this consumer, uh, you're now, you can now take this consumer with you in your car before they ever come to town. You can be previewing homes and actually asking them what they like about the home that you're previewing um, as, you're, as you're looking at homes. You can also think about it from a, a listing agent perspective. Maybe you're showing the property. Maybe the seller wants to see how you show their property. Now they can see that in real time. Think about it from the idea of a property inspector who is actually looking at the defects potentially of a property, and they're actually able to communicate in real time with the buyer, the buyer's agent, uh, record it, send those relevant facts and ideas off to, to the seller, and he doesn't have to pick up a device to actually record this. This, th this has some unique implications relative to what the consumer experience might look like in this cloud-based uh, connected world. So I, I wanted to share that with you to get you just noodling that, um, that thought because this is coming and by, by the final quarter uh, of this year, you're gonna start to be able to buy these yourself and, and to start to put them into use uh, in some pretty unique ways. And, and those are just some ideas that came to, to my uh, mind However, there's going to be some pretty unique ideas that, that, that come along as well. Uh, keep in mind that I, I do run a, a cloud-based real estate brokerage, um, and so uh, and part of it out of, was out of necessity. In 2008, I had to close down a couple offices, as, um, as I'm sure some other people here may have had similar experiences, and we, had to, we, we decided we were going to go completely on the cloud because financially it was the only thing that made sense in, in sort of that, that uh, late, ha late part of 2008 into 2009. And, and the big piece that we were trying to solve was how do we do collaboration? And, and we'll, we're here, we hear a lot about the cloud and, and collabor collaboration. And, and, and you'll see here in the background, uh, we, we've got a Google Hangout going on back there. Um, these, these, other, these other ideas that are up on the screen, these are, uh, some of you might recognize Second Life. And, and in early 2000, Second Life was kind of this, uh, uh, this neat place, this social network where you could go as avatars and start to have conversations with people. And uh, when I was asked in, in 2000, uh, um, 2009 what I thought the real estate office of the future would look like, I said, you know, in a few years, you're literally going to be able to go in the office from anywhere. You're going to be able to meet with your broker and agents and staff, and, 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 and you're going to be able to uh, be able to do everything that you do in the physical office, but you're going to be able to do it remotely from anywhere. Um, however, the piece that we were trying to solve was how do you do it uh, uh, socially, because the social component of real estate is such an important piece. And so I'm going to show you a few photos um, here. This is actually uh, a look into a training session that's actually taking place in, in sort of our, our office. Uh, this is a gentleman named Jim Gerard, who's a broker in South Carolina, and he's actually teaching a class on lead generation. And, and so he's doing a lead, uh, um, a lead generation class. Um, this is uh, the same, same room, same, same uh, session, looking over the shoulders of a number of people in that space. Now keep in mind that each one of these, these avatars, these blocks in the space, are people that are working out of their home office all over the country. And, and they're coming in and collaborating and sharing ideas on how some of this stuff works. Um, here is, here's another, another slide of another gentleman who is doing another training session in the, this space. And so um, this idea of collaboration, I think that it, there's this idea that collaboration is the competitive advantage of, of companies. As we move forward, the more we can create collaborative environments, and whether they're online or offline, 
or you're using whatever technology that you choose to use. It's really about shortening the distance, shortening the friction of communication and, and collaboration between agents, whether they're in your office or offices or across borders. And there's some unique technologies that you're going to see as, as we kind of move forward. This is uh, one last slide. We, this is our boardroom. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll meet on, on Fridays, and, and uh, this is a leadership meeting that we do. And we literally have brokers from, from all, almost every state that's, that, that we had at the time. There's probably 25 brokers in the room and a number of staff members, and we're doing our, our normal Friday afternoon meetings. And, and uh, I'm not sure where I was physically in the world at the moment, but literally we're all in that virtual space and having the same types of conversations that we had when we were in a physical bricks and mortar office. And, and so those meaningful conversations allow us to take that information out to the field to our agents have similar meetings and, and to ultimately scale a business. Um, in conclusion, I, I just want to just reiterate uh, this idea, and I think we all know it, that the cloud does, in fact, change everything. It, it, and, and real estate brokerage is no different. Uh, uh, the, 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 only, the only thing that really doesn't change, at least not in the short run, is this idea that the real estate business is about consumers and, and agents working together in real life to go and work, look at homes, list homes, uh, do contract negotiations. I don't think that's going away anytime soon. However, the, 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 the fact is that the technologies, the communication is just going to continue to get more and more and more efficient. So these were just uh, some of the ideas that I wanted to share. So uh, I want to thank you for, for uh, um, taking the time to listen. And uh, thank you very much. My name is Glenn Sanford. Thank you, Glenn. Glenn Sanford, ladies and gentlemen.